just like uh, some natural like footing here for uh, Team Michigan. Yeah, Wisconsin has also been improving greatly in the recent uh, in recent history. I I have to agree. Like Comet, uh, definitely has been one to su really surprise me. He's had a, a kind of like a meteoric rise. No pun intended with Comet. <laughs> he uh, yeah he um he moved to Wisconsin and then Wisconsin and then I I just I don't know what's been going on there, but I like to think that Comet moving there kind of helped because before it was just Marshall and Pow Pow and then Fonz got really good. Comet moved there and, and they got really good. Uh, these two players have improved greatly. I don't even know if they came from Wisconsin or they moved there, but uh, yeah, Wisconsin's like on par with, with us now, with, with Chicago and Michigan and everywhere else. Yeah, All, that level up Midwest has gotten over the past year has been unreal, but we're getting into this doubles top eight. This is going to be a best of five if we're on Smashville. All right, right off the start, pretty even, nothing too crazy. We're just seeing uh, the blue team kind of just pin uh, the red team into the onto the ledges, just forcing these two one v one situations. Yeah, and uh, good on Spencer there for running right to Bayo when he saw she couldn't get a uh, wouldn't let her off the ledge. Yeah, and Nam, I th I talked about this at uh, the weekly that was in Romeoville yesterday. Nam is one of the best players at pinning his opponent on the ledge and just kind of like mitigating en uh, any attempt they can to get back on stage. And uh, that was really wise Spencer to just run over there and just help his partner because he was clearly having trouble getting off the ledge. Yeah, Nam, I know Nam's good at the ledge pressure. Combine that with Sheik's ledge pressure, it's, it's hard to get up. Yep. And still uh, fairly even, slight deficit here for the blue team, but got it. I mean, we can see this blue team kind of like take kills out of nowhere. But this red team going to be more so getting the early kills. Bayonetta and Ness so uh, prevalent with these early kill options. Yeah, the earliest kill the blue team has is like a Diddy down to the up smash or a Sheik Tipper. Whereas red team has back throw, red team has Bayo stuff. So like I said, it's going to be easier for red to clinch out the kills. Yep. Oh, and uh, Ventra, I believe, was going for a very early um, like down, down, throw, or bleh, down air kill. Yeah, that's known to kill at uh, some unusual percents. Man, and not uh, dying real early again. I mean, you know, it's best of five. Game one is really about learning what your opponents are doing. So definitely has room to adapt, but right, you don't you don't want to go down like this early. This is the type of uh, situation where you kind of get in your own head. Yeah, I actually believe we don't enter best of five until top six. So really? This, okay. This, so this is round one. We might be in uh, best of three still. Oh, that is a team kill, but that's okay. They still have a... Decent enough stock lead. Okay. As long as I mean, you can hang on to it, yeah, it really I mean, doesn't Z matter. Zenodo is an incredible stock tank in doubles. There's some switch he has where uh, if he sees like his opponent or his uh, teammate is down, he's just gonna dial back and just hold onto that stock for as long as possible. He's so good at just avoiding just unnecessary damage. Yeah, Zenodo does have the best neutral. Well, not the best neutral, but Zenodo has really, really <laughs> good neutral, and that certainly will help you stock tank. Yep. Oh my god, that little bit of PK fire stopped uh, Zenodo from being able to help out Nam there. Gotta watch out though. You can see Ventra, like the way Ventra is kind of like positioning uh, himself, definitely looking for some uh, potential like witch times. And that was excellent awareness from, uh, from Nam. Oh my goodness. Oh, the slow dr the slow drop on down air. So scary. Oh, we got a footstool? But it, oh, she died too. <laughs> I mean, you know, pretty similar uh, death there. Ventra took a very early stock from Nam, and then Nam took a very early stock from Ventra. And when you see a Bayonetta actually like die through a footstool, that's pretty that's like pretty interesting. Yeah, it's uh not too common you see Bayo die off the stage like that. Yeah. So when you do it, you feel a great sense of pride. Yeah, she's a lady who knows how to recover from every angle. Oh, and oh. Zenodo loses that stock to an up air, but let's see, can Nam do this? It, definitely within the realm of possibility, but you know, he's just got to get that uh, stock off of Spencer as soon as possible. Yeah, he'd have to edgeguard Ness and outplay Bayo in neutral, which I do believe Sheik does in neutral, uh, yeah. but they have oh, more stocks. It. Yeah, getting that stock early is really like, really important because it uh, gets rid of the threat of just a share stock, and then you just got a nest with so much rage and a fresh Bayo. Of the two characters to be in a 2v1, I do feel like Diddy is the better one because he can kill easier than Sheik. Yeah. Uh, but this is what they have to work with, and I I feel like they could do it. It's just going to be a steep hill. Yeah, I mean, Nam, if he can get a early uh, offstage gimp on a uh, Ness, you definitely could see a potential swing but you know that that's at 100 or that she get 109 percent that's scary territory because one grab yeah that's it yeah quick back throw that was close enough though um nam lost two stocks at very early percents and had he hadn't 
that might have been a different story. Yeah. Because it was, it would have been even. Mm -hmm. It would have been dead even had he not lost those stocks. Yeah. So he you can gotta, if you, you can, can avoid that, he'll be fine. Yeah, you can kind of tell Nam and Zenoda were definitely talking about that right after the match. Uh, ooh, and they were just asking if it was a best of five. And uh, they got the no, and you could tell Nam's expression just changed. Cause he's like, "Oh, it's a best of five. We can we can make this uh, adjustment really easily." Yeah, he's probably a little nervous now. He, well, he might be. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? I mean, I'd be nervous. I, I mean, same here. But you know, that's why we're behind the desk. Yeah, that's why we're here. <laughs> that's why I retired. Yeah, and that we are back on Smashville once again. I think this is definitely like the the stage to be for this uh, blue team to, I guess, take it home. Don't want to mess with uh, Town and City, maybe not even mess with Triplats. Yeah, like I said, Nam lost early stocks. I feel like they feel like that they were winning in neutral, but Nam just lost stocks to cheesy stuff. Yeah. Um, so that's why they came back here, because they realized we could have done it, we just messed up. Uh, plus, yeah, I feel like these are both of these characters best stage too, Diddy and Sheik on Smashville. Definitely. And you can kind of tell that we got a slight role reversal from the blue team. Nam opting to be the more passive one, while you see Zenodo kind of forcing, uh, like kind of pushing the foot forward to take the lead as the uh, front man. That's what I would do uh, in this situation, because like, I keep bringing it up, but uh, if, if Nam plays passive, then he can't get cheese like he did the last game. Yeah, I mean, that's going to be the name of the game right here. Keep Sheik alive. Because like, we, we need to see these setups from the uh, blue team. And wow, Ford Smash going to get it. We see blue team draw first blood and not wisely just jumping the heck out of that ledge. Does not want to give Spencer the opportunity to get a grab. And Ness we, is, as soon as you're above like that, like around that 90% threshold, Ness is just going to be fiending for the grab. It's already an improvement uh, for blue team because red team did get, get, get the first stock last game. Oh, that's gonna be it. Yeah, Ness and doubles. He's so. Oh no! Ooh. I don't. I don't. Zeno could have just side me there. I think it would have uh, been just as fine. I might have just caught him off guard. He couldn't react quick enough. Yeah. And look at that. You can tell Nam was just definitely trying to like end that Ness uh, as quick as he could, but he wanted to stay really. Oh, nice wall. Like, yeah. Nice bonk, but right there. Not gonna get it. No, no jump on Ness though. So that's a really tricky situation. He can make that back. Yeah. Bayo going in for the save, but uh, not necessary. That'll do oh, it. Oh, that's going to get it. That nice up air. But now you could tell, like, Ventra, even though, like, he was over there to just save Ness, and he was doing a good job of it, he was kind of, like, getting caught in the crossfire. And that's just not where you want to be. You're taking that unnecessary damage that uh, we were kind of talking about that the blue team was taking. Now the red team is kind of, like, falling into that little trench. Yeah, they certainly are. Ness, uh, trying to kind of, like, you guys, you, you're seeing uh, Spencer now trying to take that uh, aggressive role because of uh, Ventra being so close to death. One down tilt into an up smash, definitely going to seal the deal here. Maybe even a bouncing fish from Nam. This red team got to hold on. Yeah, honestly, I feel like either, oh, of, it. either of red team's characters could play aggressive or defensive because no matter what, Ness gets an up air, and that's powerful or Bayo gets a Bayo combo and that's powerful. Either of these characters can just sit back and wait for somebody oh. to give him give him uh, give him something. Yeah now we're seeing the red team kind of just playing a little sloppy here. Ventra just dancing off stage a little bit too much and ends up uh, self-destructing. Not what you want to see when you're up 1-0. And like right now this blue team with this two stock lead they're looking pretty like pretty much like right to just like bring on game three. We're just gonna win this right now. And honestly this is how the first game went. Like, very similar to this, it's just Nam lost stocks. Yeah, that Nam definitely switching over uh, his play style for this game, and it's... It made all the difference. Yeah, it's just truly showing uh, wonders. What are we going to see? That, what are we going to see from this red team to try and bring this back? Clearly, they have to take the stock from Nam as soon as possible. You can see yeah. Spencer just going for these grabs. He's like, just give, give me the sheet. Give me this sheet. They've been putting a lot of left yeah, pressure around this kill. team throughout this whole game. And that's it. All right. And a solid three stock. This adjustment from the blue team showing wonders that support Nam and aggressive Zenodo. And you can tell, like, Zenodo, uh, when you look at these players on stage, Zenodo is the standout player. He's PGR, th three time veteran on the PGR. Is he PGR now or was he too inactive? No, he is. Uh, he is I think PGR? he's, uh, he dropped down to like 30 or 33. Still a good number. Yeah, no, a good number. I would take. I would take top 100, honestly. <laughs> Same. Like, but, if I could say I'm top 100, I would. Yeah. But like I was saying, like, with uh, Zenodo being, uh, like, the strongest player on screen, 
him taking that aggressive front is a little threatening and daunting towards the red team because these guys are just, oh my god, this player is super out of our league and now he's just coming at us full force. And like we talked about how Nam did to improve there, but Zenodo also, like, when he saw Nam was in trouble, he ran right over there, which he didn't do as much in the previous game. Yeah, Matt, Zenodo's map awareness and Nam's map awareness is quite good. And we gotta see if this red team can make some adjustments because right now, 80% on Bayonetta, pretty close to some type of kill. And then Ness, 78%, almost getting a kill on the Sheik there. Yeah, you noticed uh, he was comboing Bayo, but as soon as he saw Sheik was in trouble, he dipped. He said, I don't need this combo anymore. He went to top his partner out. What oh, you need to do? Nam was waiting. Nam was going for a really good, wow, with that up air. Really, pretty early, 97 after the hit. Yeah. That almost killed. <laughs> that, that's scary. Like, Ness is like, what do I do? I can down throw, but then we're just going to both get trapped. So it just goes for up throw. I mean, gets Bayonetta out of there, but, you know, <laughs> that did almost kill, like you said. And it's scary, because sometimes in a situation like that, you don't have time to check what your partner's percent is. You just do something and hope they don't die. Yep. And that Vanish could have saved Zenodo out of the Ness grab and end up killing Ness in the uh, in oh. response. And wow, that up air. Yeah, uh, we're not pre-patched. Certainly not pre-patched. No. I mean, I'm, I was just surprised he lived, because it is Counted City. And like, 169% after the hit? Yeah, Sounds just, like it should kill, but that forward smash is going to end that in stock. Bayonetta uh, lose their first stock. Giddy still sitting pretty at uh, three stocks. And you know, Zenodo's sitting at three stocks despite being the aggressor. Uh, he's Zenodo. That's, <laughs> that's all I have to say. He's Zenodo. Back throw. Going to try and get the kill, but not from that side of the stage. Town and City pretty big when it comes just to being on the stage. Blast Zone's not too big, but... It's, uh, it gives you more room to play neutral. It gives you more room to run away, too, which is, I think red team needed, and I like their counter pick. And also Bayo on town, and Ness up airs on town. Yeah. All right, take that stock from the blue. Really good use of bats within. Oh, that there's going to kill. And now All we right. have a, yeah, this is, their percents are high, but it's still a large enough of a lead to yeah, be I, significant. I definitely would say this is probably even. Oh, going to get it? No, didn't get the DI trap. Just spin to win to get back to that ledge. That's, oh! I think Nam was a little late on the trigger for that up smash, which is why uh, Bench was able to get the bats within. And now suddenly, blue team has retaken the lead. Uh, yeah, I mean, look at that, Zenodo. 24% on his second stock. He is just sitting so pretty. This could be, okay. Uh, Ventra going out to help Spencer right away. Yeah, ever since that second game where Ventra, like, you saw uh -oh. Ventra kind of, like, dancing a little bit too much off stage and uh, self-destruct. Every time I see that Bayo off stage, I'm like, come on, don't lose that jump. You don't want to cost your team. You know what's so weird is that you see Bayo's SD so frequently. Like, more than other characters, even though... I guess their inputs are technical or something as far as recovering goes. Because <laughs> you see yeah. an SD more than other characters. You technically forgot where your jumps were. Yeah. <laughs> anyway... Keeping Ness at the ledge, they're gonna bully this Bayonetta as much as they can, but now that Ness is back on stage, just uh, just going to the get Ness back off stage, and we'll uh, go back to beating up on Bayo. And Nam had a lot of faith in Sonoda there, because he was getting edge guarded, but he's ah, yeah, he's the nut, he'll make it back. Exactly, wow, that was uh -oh. so smooth. I mean, Sonoda will make it back, it's Diddy. Yeah, he can't get stage spiked out of that. If he doesn't, he still has a stock to work with. But how he took Ness's stock was actually incredible. I don't know if you saw it, he actually did like a the side beat, like the strong one where you get the more distance. He ledge canceled it into a fair and it killed Ness. Definitely caught him sleeping on that DI. And now it's up to Bayonetta to uh, do some wonder. Oh my goodness. Is this that going to kill uh, both? Yeah. That's going to kill both. All right. We've seen uh, Bayonetta's do crazy things in this uh, lifetime. Now it's up to Zenodo to just stay patient. He's yep. one of the best ditties in this matchup, but... Everybody is susceptible to obeying that combo. You remember, we are on town, too. Uh, Diddy's down to combo. We'll kill now. Definitely. There it is. What did I say? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay. He went for the mix up <laughs> with forward smash. Oh, and the moment you fell out, you're like, oh, God. <laughs> is so this, it over? This could be it. Yeah. Evil? I mean, <laughs> great stuff to Spencer and Ventra, though. That top eight performance here. Great stuff. N nothing to. Uh, be down about you guys did incredible this uh, doubles bracket so good stuff to you Nam Zenodo move on into top six yeah uh, and both, finally, and both teams can go home and brag about this exactly and you know Nam and uh, Zenodo get finally in those best of fives that was a scary best two out of three because of that game one yeah I again uh, Nam just 
he got cheesed and he said I should stop getting cheesed and then he stopped getting cheesed. Zenodo helped him not get cheesed and yeah. you know we're all lactose intolerant. Yep. And it looks like Zenodo and uh Nam are just gonna be sitting right down. They're gonna be looking like they're playing Tyroy and Big Mac. So 